What a magical feeling when the legend, wait for it, Derek Glorious Agro, the creator of the glorified Proton and Nobata project, has made his way down to my channel to make suggestions. Usually, I will have to switch to another distribution right after publishing a distro related video to keep up with my upload schedule. But I decided to stay on Nobata for another week and make a follow up video to see if any of his suggestions will be able to fix the issues I mentioned in the previous video. First of all, I would like to say that I was able to see the pop up window for NVIDIA proprietary drivers after the system update I did on October 16th. 2022. I put the text there in the previous video, but it might be hard to notice. I see several comments mentioning this, so I like to reiterate that it is a non issue now. These things happen because usually to make a distro hopping video, I had to record things before even starting writing the script. And as a second language English speaker, I can't talk to the camera using just several bullet points. I have to write the whole script word by word. I read it off from a teleprompter. In the case of Nobata, it took me over three weeks to finish. I downloaded the ISO back in September and published in mid-October. So if you are a new subscriber because of the Nobata project, sadly I can't do one video about a Linux distribution per week. You will have to wait at least another video to see me try out a new distribution. Now let's try to fix the Uplay issue. As per Mr. Agro's suggestion, instead of using Proton Tricks, I should have gone for the Proton Up QT, a GUI tool mentioned on the Nobata website which can manage the Proton GE versions against the Steam game individually. So I removed the Uplay from Lutris, reinstalled the Assassin's Creed Origin back in the built in Steam. I checked again to make sure the game was still broken, and it was. Next, I opened up the Proton Up QT. Click on the Add Version button, installed the pre-selected Proton GE, went to the game list and selected the newly installed Proton for the game, and started again. Again, I was running the game on Wayland with NVIDIA Proprietor Driver 515, came with the distro, along with this Xbox One controller. Finally, for the DaVinci Resolve. Funny enough, I was not able to use it to edit my previous video because my recording has no video instead of audio when imported to the media pool. I was able to find the answer in the Discord channel by using a single search, replied by Mr. Eggrose himself that this is because the free version DaVinci Resolve does not support H.265 and H.264 encoding. So I transcoded my video with Handbrake to MPEG4. Finally, I was able to import a video without audio, which is perfect, because with the original audio without video, now I don't even have to apply the fix on the FAQ page and start editing right away. Thanks to Glorious Agro, for the special customer service. Yes! Yes, you've answered all my questions and I am pleased with the customer service I've been provided! And thank you for watching. I hope you will help you avoid some of the pitfalls I was facing. My name is Hugo, a Linux user who dares to have a girlfriend. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also check out this one where I try the ALG Arch installer after it got discontinued. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.